Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer is building a JavaScript single page application using Vue.js and is looking to implement OAuth login with Facebook and Google. They've set up their backend API with Lumen and are facing a tricky situation when it comes to returning a JWT token to their SPA after a successful login. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To return a JWDT token to your JavaScript SPA after an OAuth login, we need to ensure that the flow correctly redirects back to your SPA. First, let's look at the callback function you've implemented. In this function, you retrieve the OAuth user and create or find their account in your database. After that, you generate a JDT token using the user's information. The challenge arises when you want to return this token to your SPA. Instead of returning JSON directly, consider redirecting to your SPA with the token included in the URL. However, passing the token in the URL can be insecure. A better approach is to use a secure cookie to store the token, which can be accessed by your SPA. Finally, when porting your SPA to Cordova, you can handle the token retrieval through a custom URL scheme or deep linking, allowing your mobile app to receive the token securely. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user describes a secure login flow for a single-page application using OAuth. First, the user is directed to the OAuth provider, which returns an access token to the client. Next, the client sends this access token to the API. The API then requests a renewal from the OAuth provider, which validates the token and sends back a new one. The API exchanges the access token for a JT token and returns it to the client. The user emphasizes the importance of renewing the OAuth token instead of blindly exchanging it. This method is preferred for authenticating SPA applications as it ensures security and avoids unnecessary redirects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To return a JWT token to your JavaScript SPA after an OAuth login, connect your SPA to a single authentication service in your backend. Register this service as the OAuth callback. This auth service will manage user authentication and re-authentication. Since your front-end communicates directly with your back-end, you can easily return the JSON payload to your web or mobile application. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.